March 31st, 2022 at 2.30 in the morning, Officer Francis was dispatched out to I-75 to assist the State Highway Patrol in a pursuit with a vehicle traveling at greater speeds than 130 miles per hour. Officer Francis was attempting to deploy stop sticks at exit 142 when he was struck and killed from those injuries. Officer Francis started working at Bluffton Police Department on October 10th, 2010, where he began his career as a part-time officer. In 2016, February, he became a full-time police officer. The, the department lost a friend. I mean, we, we're a small, a small group. We watch our kids grow up. We help each other out. He was a four-time MAD Top Cop Award. In 2016, he had a life-saving award conducting CPR on a subject and was able to bring him back to life. 2018, he got a letter of accommodation for apprehension of suspects breaking into a local business. 2018, he was the officer of the year because of his proactive approach taking drugs off the streets. In 2021, he got the Chief Leadership Award for his mentoring skills for the newer officers. In 2020, he also got the Officer Year Award for his dedication and willingness to help during COVID for extremely long hours. And in 2022, he also received two more awards, an Active Shooter Award from him pursuing a vehicle that was in town trying to break into other businesses what was suspected. And in 2022, unanimously, he was voted as one of the officers of the year after his passing. And then after his death, he also received the Purple Heart and the Medal of Honor, which is the highest award you can receive in our department. Dominic was very outgoing. He had a big heart. He definitely was a mentor for the youth. He was involved in the junior high football program at Corey Rawson. He helped with the high school softball team over at Corey Rawson. He was a weight room coordinator, so that meant he also dealt with athletes from all kinds of different sports. He also assisted the Corey Rawson basketball team conditioning coach. He was a bus driver and he was a substitute teacher. And then also he was a firefighter over in the Mount Corey area. So his, his involvement in the community goes a lot further than just his dedication to the duty to uh, serve and protect. He was out there being a teacher of life. There isn't anything he wasn't afraid to do. And there is not a day that doesn't go by that we we don't not still feel that he's still here. We, we will never forget him. The legacy that Officer Francis left behind for our agency and the community was his willingness to care for others. He led with his heart. Dominic is the definition of a hero and he will always be missed, but never forgotten.